Hello there, it's Mark from Cars and Cameras, and today we're going to take a look at two MacBook Pro M3 computers. This is our M3 Pro chip. This is the 18 gigabyte model, 16 inch computer. And this is the M3 Max 16 inch with 36 gigabytes of RAM. So we have 18 and 36. So we're looking at better quality on the picture in Final Cut Pro. And let's go ahead and play back and see how it does. Now this is the uh, Pro model. And you can see it's performing fantastic. Now I did a 200% crop in here. And when you're doing these crop ins, this is 8K footage, by the way, 8K 24P footage. Um, we're also gonna look at some 8K 60P footage that I'm gonna conform to 24P. But um, what I did here is I did that crop in and we're just gonna take a look at it. And it seems to be playing back smoothly. Then when I drop these clips in, they render immediately. I was gonna kind of time each model back and forth and compare, but it's happening so fast between the two models, I don't really, it's not really necessary. So this is the crop in that I'm doing there uh, with a subject across the street. And it's, it's working very smoothly. I see no glitches whatsoever. We'll go ahead and try this on the 36 gigabyte model. Uh, it should be exactly the same. So this is the max uh, chip model with 36 gigabytes of RAM. And as I said earlier, they both have one terabyte hard drives. And this one is playing back exactly the same as the pro chip model, which is to be expected. Okay. So let's go ahead and play around with another clip. Now this one here, uh, let's see what I can do. So let me line it up. And I don't know if I wanna do a, uh, so this one is a uh, reverse crop. It's basically we're starting off on the billboard sign and we'll see how that works. Yep, it's playing it back perfectly smooth. All right, so let's move on to the uh, Max chip model and see how it does. And there it goes, playing it back perfectly smooth. As expected, because it's working fine on the Pro model. All right, let's move on to the next test. Okay, so for this one, this is um, 8K 60P footage. And these are all not proxy files. These are native files directly from the camera. So let's go ahead and see how this performs. So this has been conformed to 24P and the M1 and the M2 would just be choking with this. And it is working very well on the Pro model. I'll play it a little bit more and then we'll move on to the Max model. I am very impressed with the, uh, how well this is working. Okay, so now we, we have the, uh, this is the max chip. And it's playing it back exactly the same. Yeah, I really didn't think that, uh, especially with this 8K footage, that this was gonna work out as well as it is. I really thought that uh, there was gonna be some dropped frames, you know, issues happening with the, uh, uh, with this, but it's it's working great. Okay, so for the next clip, uh, we're gonna go ahead and just perform a, a crop in. So this is just the master shot, and I'm gonna go ahead and punch in because it's 8K. So I'm gonna punch in quite a bit here, almost 300%, I think I did. And then we're just gonna do a close up and then go, you know, kind of widen out here. And it just does it instantaneously. So a lot of times you'd be waiting for it to render and to be, it'd be kind of glitching a little bit, but this is very smooth. So let's go ahead and look at the clip again. We'll do it full screen. And this is better quality. And that's also a problem because a lot of times when you're doing this, you got to go to better performance. It's going to start dropping frames, especially when you're dealing with the 8K footage. It just really struggles with that. And this is AK footage from the uh, A7R5. And it's working great. Very good. 
All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the uh, Max chip. I kind of set up the same clip and see how that one performs. Let me go ahead and go to full screen. And it works the same. So the next test is I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, an export. And I got to believe that the export speeds are going to be faster on the, uh, the Max chip. But let's go ahead and see. So I'm going to go ahead and export this in ProRes. And it's a pretty big file. And let's see how long it takes. Of course, I'm going to speed it up because I'm sure it's going to be several minutes. Here are the two machines all ready to go. And I'll go ahead and start them. And they're, they're going. Okay. So now we're about seven minutes in. And in seven minutes and 24 seconds it took for the, uh, the Max chip. And a little over 10 minutes on the uh, Pro chip. So about a three minute difference there. And we'll go ahead and play back the clips. Seems to be working very good. Very good. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at these machines. So they have the exact same ports. Everything's the same about them. And, you know, I've tested the 14-inch uh, uh, MacBook uh, Pro models, the M3. And I got to say the 16-inch model, while it is a big computer, you can see the ports on it are exactly the same from the two models. This is what you're going to get on both sides. But I got to say, um, I really like this machine a lot. I like both these machines. I mean, obviously, you know, if you're a professional and, you know, time is money, you probably want to go with that Max chip. But if you want to save a little bit of money, there's nothing wrong going with the Pro chip. And it has very, very nice speakers. In fact, at the end of the video, I will play uh, some of the clips so you can see them uh, at full volume. Um, I like the nice trackpad. So when I first opened the box to these two computers, I had to say, wow, they are big. But I have to say that the screen is absolutely gorgeous. You know, that 16 plus inch screen is really nice. Uh, I really like the bigger trackpad and the speakers on the computer. I usually use headphones, but um, I really like the speakers on the computer quite a bit. Uh, I've been watching movies on the computer and, you know, using it for Final Cut Pro and my work. It's really working out really great. Whether you need that Max chip or that Pro chip, I'll leave that up to you. Guys, I hope you liked this video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.